guys, there's going to be a lot of animosity. There's going to be a lot of toxicity. There's going to be a lot of fan wars. And the social media war that we are talking about, <laughs> it's going to be engineered by the fans. And people are going to be defensive based on the fact that because a certain housemate is either South African or Nigerian, then they can do no wrong in their eyes. Excuse you. So it's four days to go, yeah? It's four days to go to that time of the year again when people's lovers, uncles, aunties, um, friends, mothers, <laughs> fathers even, lose their sanity, even lose all sense of morality, all sense of, all sense of decorum, all sense of home training, yeah? Just to defend people, unknown people, maybe known people, of a reality TV show such as Big Brother, right? And guys, I'm gonna be very honest with you. In a way, it's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. It's scary because people go extreme, right? People go extreme. And on the flip side, it's exciting because there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of mass books, there's a lot of um, entertainment to follow, you know? So it's usually fun times, but sometimes it gets toxic really gets toxic and so I, I thought hey why not just go ahead and put out a video highlighting certain ways that has actually really worked for me yeah that I can actually share with people on how to watch Big Brother Titans and enjoy the show without breaking a leg <laughs> and of course without losing your sense of decorum, right? So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing on this video. I'm gonna be sharing my own curated list that has actually worked for me. And I'm sure that if you practice it diligently, trust me, it's gonna work for you. And most important of all, you're gonna retain your sanity by the end of the show, even during the show and after the show, okay? Um, but before we get into it, hi, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah and I'm the girl with the tea. Yes. So if you're new on here, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video to watch. Yes. But please, if you are yet to become a member of this community or a part of this community, do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. Kindly subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, especially if you're looking for that space where you can get the most detailed factual and accurate analysis of reality TV shows, movies, and trendy social topics. This is where you get all of that juicy tea. All right. So please, subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to come back yeah before we get into this video i have a major announcement for those of you my nigerian viewers okay so um drum rolls <laughs> yay i got my pvc i got my pvc guys it was really stressful to get it but i'm glad I got it and there was this kind lady on the day I went to get mine she actually really did a lot to help me I don't even know if she knows me but she just helped me out of the blue so if you're watching this video right now I want to say thank you so much God bless you for assisting me God bless you and ladies and gentlemen if you're a Nigerian watching this video right now and you are yet to collect your pvc please go ahead and get yours yes i know it's not easy but please try as much as possible to get yours come february nigeria decides february is the election so please go and get your pvc so that you exercise your patriotic right to vote first things first you need to understand that this is big brother titans not big brother niger or Big Brother South Africa or Big Brother Africa. No, this is Big Brother Titans. This is not your regular Big Brother Ninja show, you know, where you watch the show and you are used to the types of housemates that are selected, that you're used to the personality types that we get to see. Because guys, we've established it over and over again on this channel that I don't know if it's by the doing of the organizers, yes, or the selection panel of the of the show for Big Brother Niger, but it seems as though for the entire, okay, let's call it um, the, the last six seasons that we have actually watched, it seems like there's a, re there's a repetition of the personality types that we get to see on our screen. Yeah, for every season, there's always five to 10 housemates that's literally doing the exact same thing that previous housemates already did. So it's like a regurgitation of what we've actually experienced before on our screens. But this is Big Brother Titans. 
never been seen before, right? It is a collaboration between South Africa and Nigeria, meaning that there is going to be a merger, a complete crazy display of different personality types. So, except the selection is similar to the Big Brother Ninja type of selection, then trust me, it's gonna be completely different. So first of all, understand that this is Big Brother Titans, not Big Brother Ninja. So certain expectations that you might have, you know, about how the housemates should behave or conduct themselves, you might not get that met at all, all right? So that's on the side. That number two, you need to also understand that this is a game, all right? It is a game, so therefore, you need to focus on the game. What is the game? Probably 25 to 30 or more housemates, individuals called housemates, will be put in a confined space, right? To leave, to interact, to blend, to compete for a certain amount of money. Now, it's not just money. It comes with um, bragging rights to be the winner of the first ever type of concept emerging from Big Brother Africa, all right? It's gonna be a bragging right, it's gonna be a status thing, it's gonna be a popularity contest, it's gonna be a competition for, you know, the biggest player, the biggest gamer, the most strategic player, the most preferred individual, the most liked, the most loved, the most voted for individual called housemate from the show. So that is the game. It is not going to be a game of, oh, um, between Nigerians and South Africans, who knows how to behave properly the most. No, it's not going to be a moral competition, to be very honest, because <laughs> this is not the Nigerian type of setting where we're going to say, oh, this one was very, very good. This one was very, very nice. So people love this one. Mm -mm. Or what I've just described, that is the game. And also, let's talk a bit about the whole popularity contest thing. A housemate could get popular amongst the viewers, not by being the kindest or not by being the meanest. The housemate might just be in the house, not even doing anything, not even contributing to the fun, to the drama, to the fight, to the entertainment. A housemate could be boring, but the housemate could be beautiful. And so pretty privilege or handsome pre privilege might work for that housemate. A, a housemate might be the meanest. A housemate by, by, might be a bully. A housemate might be the craziest, but still could be popular amongst the viewers. So that is the crazy thing about the popularity contest of Big Brother shows. The popularity contest is no respecter of morality. It is no respecter of, of, of um, conventions, societal norms, societal conventions. It is just a thing of people see this person and they like this person. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself to understand that to enjoy Big Brother Titans come January 15th, you need to take all these things into consideration and understand that it is a game. All these indices are involved in the game. Yes. And so you need to focus on the game and not on cultural, cultural norms, societal conventions. Mm -mm. It's a game. Another way to enjoy Big Brother Titans is to focus on the individuality and not the collective. Put simply, what I'm trying to say is, Look at these housemates as individuals in their own right. Look at them as personalities that are singular, right? Of course, they're a makeup of their society, they're a makeup of their ideologies, they're a makeup of their environment, all well and good, right? But do not judge these individuals called housemates by their countries. I mean, it's inevitable that when you want to talk about a particular housemate that's uh, from South Africa, you, you, that you will not refer to where they are from or how things are done from their place. But then, do not focus on that. Say, for instance, now, a housemate is um, beefing another housemate. Okay, let's put some tags to it. Say, for instance, a Nigerian housemate is beefing a South African housemate. Do not judge the matter. Do not judge the beef by, oh, that is how Nigerians behave. Do not judge another situation by, oh, that is how South Africans behave. Although there are circumstances that will really push you 
to making such references but when it comes to very very sensitive situations try as much as possible to remain neutral instead judge matters on the show by individuality and not the collective of the people but uh, guys trust me it's gonna save you a lot of headache it's also gonna go ahead to curb some tensions ladies and gentlemen remember it's very very important for us to have it at the back of our minds or even the front of our minds that um, at the end of the day we want unity yes we want to use this show this platform to to engineer and foster um unity right remember the xenophobic attacks we do not want a repeat of that so instead we are looking forward to the positivity that is going to come out of this show i know that the toxicity is inevitable but we can actually do it if we set our minds to it another way is to totally totally guys avoid run away from social media wars now it is inevitable it will happen guys there is never going to be a season of big brother yes big brother niger or big brother south africa that there wouldn't be social media wars there will be social media wars and from those social media wars um trolls are going to be breathed trolls are going to be breathed um guys there's going to be a lot of animosity there's going to be a lot of toxicity there's going to be a lot of fan wars and the social media war that we are talking about <laughs> it's going to be engineered by the fans so there's going to be fan wars there's going to be trolls oh my god there's gonna be toxicity i am telling you even maybe at the slightest level maybe at the highest level it's gonna happen it's gonna exist but then how do you rise above all of that look at it as a game ask yourself okay if i kill myself ruin my reputation you know lose my own training drag my family my generation my ancestors you know on social media into something that does not even concern them what do i stand to gain at the end of the day ask yourself is there an award for the most defensive fan ask yourself is there an award for the most toxic voice on social media ask yourself is there really an award or um, a reward for that one person that is very very jobless that just goes around trolling people on their pages you know interjecting interrupting people's conversations on social media insulting them just being basically rude petty is there an award for the most savage person is there an award for the most shady person guys i don't know all these things i'm saying some people are not going to see it so it's going to enter some people's ears here and going to jump out of it some people get a kick of being toxic on social media yeah but trust me if you are a reasonable person and you just want to enjoy the show and you want to just enjoy the cultural experience you want to just learn one or two things from the show from the task from the housemate even then it will really really help you to avoid the fan wars to avoid the social media wars now, another way to enjoy the show is to try as much as possible to be neutral in other words kill the bias kill the over sentimentality i'm saying this because i know for sure that there's going to be situations where um, matters need to be discussed conversations need to be had on social media you know amongst people amongst viewers and people are going to be defensive based on the fact that because a certain housemate is either south african or nigerian then they can do no wrong in their eyes excuse you <laughs> anyways now this is not to say that everybody is perfect in, ladies and gentlemen we are all flawed yes nobody absolutely nobody is perfect but still that does not mean that when we watch a show like big brother titans we cannot have room for conversations that we cannot have room to analyze you know what has happened on the show what has happened in biggest mansion no we can talk about it we are allowed to, to talk about it because for us it's an experience we're watching these people do things in the house so we we have every right to talk about it that does not mean that we're being judgmental that does not mean that we are cancelling these housemates that does not mean that we are writing them off however in the light of doing all of these things i've mentioned let's try as much as possible to kill the bias yes do not say that oh because it is um, a South african that did this so it's fine or because it is a nigerian that did this it's fine or because um this person is more beautiful 
or more handsome than the other so it allowed for this person to do this and get away with it oh don't say that oh because this one is from the streets that is how people from the streets behave so it is allowed we can actually talk about it right but it does not mean that we're actually canceling that person so kill the bias kill the over sentimentality so that you can properly enjoy the show and then last but not the least yeah enjoy the cultural collaboration between Nigerians and South Africans trust me if you're open-minded enough you know to allow yourself enjoy the experience trust me at the end of the show you're gonna be happy that you actually watched it yes and then you'll be looking forward to seeing another season of such a collaboration maybe between nigerians and another african country or south africans and another country ladies and gentlemen i don't know but trust me if you're able to open your mind be open-minded um do not restrict yourself too much from actually learning trust me you would actually enjoy it so that's it for this video this is where i'm going to stop talking i totally love to learn from you all if you have your own suggestions just go ahead as usual and share with us in the comment section below i look forward to reading from all of you and i look forward to responding to all of you as well that said Thank you all so much for watching please do not forget to give this video a like give this video a thumbs up yes and i will see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an amazing amazing day bye